stupid uh evil yeah dictator that was like you have failed me go do this again it's like no you failed me so uh <laughs> matt was talking about um a uh, character of hey. his that turned into a big bad named vladimir Goff. yep Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Some Putin. Of us love him. Yeah. Which I Some of us can... love him more than others. I Which know. I am not gonna lie, I didn't even think about Vladimir Putin as I made it. I just did Vladimir because <laughs> Vladimir. It's just such yeah. a cool evil name. Vladimir. It is. it is a very fitting evil name. It is. My name is Vladimir. Like it would be perfect if it was a name. Like can you but... say like my name is Kenneth? <laughs> like exactly. Or Fucking James, like my name is James. <laughs> I am. Hello. <laughs> no, that's too much like yeah, fucking uh, Team Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, we do not be spurts, James from Team Rocket. James, team we don't. Team but Rocket like, still, amazing. if you're trying to be an evil James, there's only one, and it's Team Rocket. Mm-hmm. Okay, but we all gotta admit he's like a maybe a bard. No. Mm-hmm. Eh. James you from you? Team Rocket being a bard? Are you kidding me? I don't no. know, actually. He, he has the charisma of a fucking tick, all right? That is uh, true. He could be a low charisma bard. I'm sure that's a thing. So welcome, everyone, um, with this chaos and stuff. Uh, we are on session 29 now. Uh, yeah, there is there is nothing to fear but Faye itself. Um, uh... When we last left off, the party was split two and two. Well, technically two, two, and two. No. Two, two, one, and one. So we have uh, a few of the players that aren't here currently. Um, they've been on extended hiatus for things in their life. Um, but uh, one of them, their character is uh, currently in the pocket of an NPC. Uh, although everyone failed their perception checks to catch this. Um, another one is currently safe and sound with his new girlfriend in Sanctuary. Um, another may or may not be dead. Uh, and then we have two that are in the fiendish castle that the other party just escaped from having just shattered a mirror. Um, and then the other two are now trapped in the Fey wilds. Yeah. Other three. Oh yes. The other three. Well, that's there's, true. Well, there's Naz there's is one, of our, one of our player, one of our players has two characters Naz now. Has self-relegated <laughs> Dahlia to an NPC. Um, yeah. So until further notice. Yeah, until yeah. further notice. If anything happens to Abigail, I think she plans to reactivate Dahlia. Um, yeah. until then, I didn't know I reactivated my game card. The, 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 <laughs> the, the, the sleeper, the sleeper agent. The sleeper agent. <laughs> <Right. laughs> We're getting ready for it our Phyraxian It just means arc. that. Um, no, it I'm just kidding. means but that Markham what? gets to continue Phyraxia. roll. Oh, come on. The what? Magic the Gathering. Wait. Phyraxians are a, a race of um, oh. beings that kind of uh, okay. mesh themselves with the machines and then yeah. use cybernetics to take over other species. <laughs> I play I just... Hearthstone. I don't play Magic. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like neither. a new problem. Yeah. I have played so neither. So apparently they have actually blended it with, ma- uh, with um, so they've merged Magic the Gathering's world with uh, I don't even. It's, been... it's See, all just World of Warcraft. I, it's not Phalon. It's whatever the the actual canon, forgotten the Forgotten Realms. They've blended the Forgotten Realms and Magic Faerun? the Gathering. Faerun. Yeah, Faerun. 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 Um, they've blended Faerun uh-huh. and Magic the Gathering's worlds. So actually, mm-hmm. we might see these interdimensional beings that are you know like the Phyraxians that are trying to conquer all the worlds. They might get stat blocks for D and D incoming versions because they're I wouldn't be surprised. every, so every set every okay let's be honest every set that comes out that has been coming out i should say for the most part it has been getting like a D D lore dump and a little like yeah. in a little mini pdf and a little mini thing with stat blocks so that you can it's run your that. games in these worlds uh the fact that you could have eldrazi in a D D setting is terrifying to me. Absolutely terrifying. If it's any consolation, uh, Ian, I actually have an Eldrazi nod in one of my other storylines. Um, 
that if you bring Eldrazi into this, I'm go- I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> It's okay. It's in the sequel storyline. Takes place about three years after this. Hey yo! Mm-hmm. Hey hey yo! You already Wait fought it minute. off once. Hey, Are they what? fighting Ulamog? I'm no. confused. I'm it, confused. It's it's in the form of an eldritch god that they've been battling oh. that can manifest variations of itself in. Creatures the that fact that you had to them. pause tells me you based it off of Ulamog. You're evil. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you're telling me, hold on, for, for Ian's awareness, you're telling me you this entire time you've been telling us that we've been fighting Hermaeus Mora and there's something way worse? I never said you're fighting Hermaeus Mora. I said no, one of the beings the one is that, like yeah. Hermaeus Mora. No, that's not the one we're fighting. I never the, said that's, that's the one you're fighting. No, it was not. That's the one in the luck, luck blade. Anyways. Yeah. That's, <laughs> the one the, that's the one that That's the one I've been yeah. trying to get after. Mm, yeah. Uh, yes, forbidden knowledge. Very itself. different one. Yeah. Um, that's you the guys one have I been want. dealing with the Ulamog one, not the Hermaeus Moro one. <laughs> <laughs> and certainly not the um. The one of many faces. Put it this way. Put it this way for you guys. Ulamog. <laughs> Is the weakest of the three Eldrazi Titans. Okay. Oh. Tells me nothing. Okay. No, it tells me oh shit. They are their their sole purpose is going to different worlds and devouring its uh mana oh, and right. and leaving it a barren wasteland. That sounds Uh-oh. about right. And it, and this and and out oh. of the three and out of the three a... lords of the Eldrazi, Ulamog is the weakest. There's two more that are much stronger. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, and anything you fight is basically just an extension of their will. Mm-hmm. Oh, to be Great. fair. Yeah, that's one. They can you you kill an army and it's like okay, I will another army into existence. Marth can kill another hundred. <laughs> can <laughs> it? How, can wait, it? how how many did he kill? A hundred about one hundred fifteen or something like that. One hundred fifteen. Yeah, I'm yeah, so no. proud of him. He can do that again. Don't. I'm so proud of my don't boy. Don't your chickens, please. Because freaking half orcs. I know. I'm not gonna. I mean, unless it don't tempt is fate. dramatically. I don't want to resurrect is, another one of you. Unless oh it is dramatically appropriate, I will not put him in that situation. I am in the midst of trying to resurrect my husband for two weeks now. One night. Uh, I couldn't get the, him any longer than one singular the night. Kind of uh, accepted stat block. Is a fan made one for Ulamog that gives him a 30 strength and a 30 constitution, which gives him a plus 10 to all those rolls. That's it. That's ridiculous. Yes. I feel a like plus... Markham has like the... a 20, a 26. Yeah, I may or may not have which is given a it plus like a, uh, plus eight. a constitution of like 50, I think. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Yeah. That's a. Jeez. What is it? The modifier is. Divided by two, rounded up, rounded down. I don't know. I was making a stat block. I'm no, because no, because twenty is a five, so it's divided by four. Yeah. Hold on. What's the rule? What's the modifier? Well, you guys are starting with that. We should start. Um, we will pan <laughs> over. So yeah, while while Selkie and uh, it's panic panic searches. Um, we'll start with <laughs> Abigail and Sir Wellington. Um, Sir Wellington. Hey, um... You have just run into here, Abigail in tow, and shattered this mirror with your your gemstone thingy that you threw into it. What would you like to That's do next? Right. Sir Wellington goes up to it, kind of puts his hand up against it, seeing if it goes through. It does not. It is just a mirror now. He looks at it goes, well... That worked. Uh, uh, okay. 
Well, now I need to figure out what's next. Maybe I should have thought of this before I just chucked this because I don't know what to do. He just slowly saunters out. Don't care if the, the active fiends out there see you? Aren't you still invisible? Oh, you are. You're right. Yes, you just saunter out. Subtract 10, divide by 2. Yeah. You, get the so you walk safely through the uh, the room full of devils, and they, they leave you be. Um, and we still and we still have Rary's telepathic bond going as well, which means I can yeah. talk to all of them because I cast that after they cast invisibility. So, yes. ao, smart. Yep, you have plenty of time to get back uh, to the rest of the party. Yeah, I get, I'm like, okay, so I destroyed the portal that was taking people to the Feywild because that was not a good thing. Um. I don't know what we should be doing now. What did you guys come here for? We were going to look for whoever cast that banishment spell. Well, hopefully they didn't go to the Feywild because I would not, we're not finding them now. Well, how do we well, know? We're safe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would say if Marcus was here, we could have him, like, talk to Kelly uh, and be like, hey, Kelly Adne, what's <laughs> going on? But, you know. With that, I wouldn't be able to piece together that it was Marcus, right? I still don't know. Uh, so. No, from that distance, you, you don't know. No. I can't guess that he would be able to banish as a cleric. I don't think he was powerful enough when you last saw him. Wait, hold on. I was. What level was I when I, I was think we were both... in the in the settlement? I was level. I think I we were like level... Le level six. Are you way back really? when? I thought. Uh, I don't think. I thought that was the last place we leveled up. No, yeah. that was the last place you leveled up. So yeah, whatever level you are now is when you're you were at sanctuary. So... I'm a level ten, so I was so. If I theoretically, was 10, yeah, theoretically, Naz, she's never it. seen him cast it. Yeah, theoretically, yeah, then... you would know that he possibly could, but you never seen him cast it, so you don't know if it's yeah. a spell he knows. A weird just insight, said check. Mm -hmm. weird insight, insight check. Weird insight check. We'll do an. No, I was, I was, I was more like being like, could she like put together that this is something yeah. that Marcus might be able to do. Yeah, we can do an inside yeah. check. Inside uh, uh, sorry, intelligence. intelligence. Intelligence check okay. to try and okay. sort that out. Because he's just said that he was just here, right? Sir Wellington? The what? No, no, I didn't. Oh. No, I said if Marcus was here, maybe he could tell us. Mm. Mm. He awesome didn't say Marcus places. was just here. He's like, if Marcus was here, he could maybe tell us who cast that banishment spell. Uh, okay. Uh, this is 12 on intelligence. Yeah, there's no way to know if he would have done that. No, nothing concrete, anyhow. Okay, well... Does anyone... Knowing how to like track or find that they're man, what a time to need a ranger, right? Right, <laughs> well, I mean, I can try to search for tracks. Sadly, mine is dead. <laughs> oh, you said there were there were there were bodies down there. Um, don't hmm. remind me. Albarian is gonna kind of whisper back, How many? Do they appear to be fiendish in, in nature, or... Did Alberion not come with us? No, he's with you. You brought everyone. You got Alberion, you got... Yeah. Um... <coughs> so why can't he tell how many bodies there are? Oh, I thought you had them way around the corner while, while you snuck through there. Huh? Because there were fiends in that room? Oh, okay, maybe. 
I don't know. I thought they were all in the room. It doesn't matter. We can we we're able to telepathically communicate. That's how it is. That's how it is. Okay. Cool. Never mind. Yeah. If if they're in the room, if he can see, he would be like, uh, by because the we're all invisible. It's I been thought two weeks. Everyone... Okay, guys. <laughs> I don't remember That's okay. things that well. Um. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. That that makes sense. Uh, I forgot he was invisible as well. Uh, if it is possible, whoever cast it is among the dead here. There are. There appear to be quite a battle. And if not, there is a very strong possibility they retreated into the Feywild. Oh, what, we just go find Histon straight away? Where would we find Histon? We're not going to find that old hag that, like, was not nice to me, are we? If we find Histon. It's not impossible. There was, like, a lady. Okay, she did not necessarily look. I just use that because I'm not very fond of her, and it was me trying to be a little mean. But it was... it. She, she was, like, the... She's, like, the one who was, like acting all lovey-dovey with Histon. She she looked like she was maybe in her like late 40s, early 50s, but she was she had like pointy elf ears and all of that. So, I don't know how old she was. It sounded like she was pretty old. Spoken like a true child. <laughs> I think she was old. Like <laughs> Very 30. old. <laughs> she was so old. She was like 30. Um practically ancient right <clears throat> hey I mean, he, he's aware that she had elf ears so she could be a lot older than she appears to be yep <laughs> that is true that is true that's sir wellington knows a lot about being older than you appear to be huh <laughs> what no he's five uh -huh. no sorry he's six he's six oh uh -huh. sure he's six absolutely why would you doubt the poor little bean no, no, something about ripping your skin off and being furry. You don't I know do anything it. about that. Well, I, don't know. I do, but Abigail doesn't. You're right. I do it. So, yeah, um, we're Sellington. We're Sellington, Sir Wellington. Mm -hmm. I, I, no, I he said we're Sellington. <laughs> You're cut off. <laughs> we're Sellington. That was. <laughs> You're not even the one drinking. I You're am the... too. I just finished a bottle of water. You're well hydrated. That means nothing. Listen, if you can get drunk off of water, see a doctor. <laughs> that means you have a weird. No, there is a weird uh, yeast thingy that makes you brew. You can You're consume bread and disease. you will. Brew. Yeah. You my, become your own brewery and you get yourself drunk. My uncle just passed away of that, actually. It was, um... The thing you can die from? I thought yeah. you just brew alcohol. If you're having liver failure and you're not allowed to drink anymore, but you're brewing mm. it yourself. Oh, that's cirrhosis. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, you know yeah. what? That makes sense. That was, that was with him. Everyone was like, how are you not... What do you mean? And he was like, I'm not. And it turns out he was brewing itself. So there's nothing mm -hmm. they could do, sadly. He was a sweet guy. But, well, at least he, you know, <laughs> he liked beer, so it worked. Um, they say go out doing what you love. Uh, so, <laughs> Shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yes. Um, well, I, I don't know if he is there with her, but if we do run into them both, we will deal with it. Okay. That does seem like can the you... most reasonable okay. step, though. Okay. Uh, you, you, I think you, you are a little bit stronger. Can, can you keep her from bamfing me again if she tries to, please? I can counter spell. Yes. Thank For that you. matter, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um. Oh crap! It's been too long. What is, what is Micah's girlfriend's name? Are you fucking serious? 
You're joking. I, you, <laughs> it's fucking Dolores. You it's not, it's not Dolores. Too easy. I, I get too riled up too easy about it, and you <laughs> push all my buttons. Uh, Sorry. I gotta. Sorry. <laughs> um, you you're know. not. Yes, you're Dolores. Not. So it's Dolores, Abigail, Sir Wellington, Albert. You didn't actually forget. No, you're I just messing blank, with me. I blanked on Dolores completely. How um, dare you? It's been two weeks. <laughs> if I don't do something every week, I you forget You have things. not had her for two weeks. You've had her for years. That is true. You have Say had her sorry for years. right now to Dolores. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear Dolores. Look at her character sheet and apologize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> her character sheet? No, she has no character sheet. She was expected to die. Oh. And then Micah <laughs> saved her life. I, and then I create oh. a character sheet for her. <laughs> Look at her character yeah. sheet and apologize. Yeah. Dolores, Dolores. Hi, baby. How are you doing? How's it going, so girl? close. You feeling all right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is not an ASMR. Stop. Okay. Uh, hi, hi, Dolores. No, no, no. Don't do that. No. <laughs> don't. We're not D&D ASMR. No. Oh, my God. We're in that... denial, not DNSMR. <laughs> DNSMR. Listen, the only kind of D&D ASMR there ever should be is the clickety clack of dice. Don't be, don't be breathing. Just stop breathing in general. Alright. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to. You don't need it. Be <laughs> I'm fine. We can't hear your yeah, mic. The, the the, that noise, is that noise suppression, that noise suppression working real well. <laughs> that sick ass noise suppression. Fuck you, noise suppression. You ruined my <laughs> ASMR channel. I was going to become a famous D&D ASMRist. And then you. You know what? It. Honestly, that's probably a good idea. There's <laughs> people who'd listen to it. Yeah, I would. Sounds very relaxing. Um, I found. I found the craziest thing recently. Um, don't know how this wound up on my feed, but um, uh, 50 well, caliber uh, handgun ASMR. I the, lock actually, and, yeah. the lock and load? Yeah, it's just like... No, and it's like it will never it be, it will never be an it. M1 Grand. It will never be an M1 Grand. You know what? I can't tell the difference, and nor do I care. <laughs> no, it's just a... Pain. Anyway, so, I'm sorry. Let's, let's... Slow, slowly falling asleep to shotgun ASMR until it goes off, and then you're like, "Oh, uh, sorry, I'm like I'm awake, I'm awake." Sorry, my Americanness got the best of me. Let's just let's keep rolling. So... No, it's fine. It's my culture. <laughs> Weapons are my religion. Um... Weapons are my religion. Uh, there's another one with you guys, right? It's. Abigail, Dolores, Alberion, Alberion's two Padawans, essentially. Was that it? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Sir Wellington. You just didn't and Sir him. Wellington, yeah. I could have sworn there was another NPC with them. No, there yeah. wasn't. Okay. There's the four NPCs and the two PCs. All right, then the math just wasn't. Oh, I'm thinking of a character that's with Callie and Marcus. Never mind. All right. Um. Yeah, so Alberion and Dolores are both in favor of going. My to question rescue is, Micah. whose 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 pocket is a mini, uh, what you call it? Coraline. No. Our I little. Oh. You you mentioned he, that Briar. Uh, Briar, yeah, yeah Briar. Yeah. I'm curious <laughs> you, you whose who's pocket Briar. Briar's in. I don't know. Someone didn't roll a high enough perception check to see. Mm. Yeah, well. Not wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't Sir Wellington. I have a plus one, not very high. Well, you weren't present Anywho. for it anyhow, so you are cleared of this one. I'm Callie is responsible. <laughs> and my whole uh, plus two? You're funny. Yeah. <laughs> so Good um, I'm a monk who, and Dahlia, I'm a monk who hits thing. I don't Dahlia. do the meditation thing. Fair. So I'm going to need Oh, absolutely born stellar. Um Dragon. I am going to don't need do the stealth thing. checks. Okay. For Abigail yeah. and Sir Wellington, because you guys are heading back out of the castle, right? We get our plus ten still and I yes, get it with do. advantage still. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, brother. I think you both get an advantage you because you're you're invisible, huh? right? What? Do we? What do you mean what am I doing? 
No, Kiki. Uh, Kiki was Cat. just meowing at something. Cat oh. mischief. Do we get it with advantage? I yeah. Was no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I thought I I thought I got it because of my my like. I'm missing feet. my dog. Oh right, never mind. Okay, yeah, no, Abigail doesn't get an advantage. Just the plus ten, on top of the normal yes. roll. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. What is that? Oh, that's no good. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Twenty-one, no good. That is, that is bull. The little concerning is what it. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah. <laughs> it's a little concerning. You know, mm -hmm. it's not all concerning. I don't know what you level. mean. Let's stop trying to open it. I'm going to protest. I can't adequately show it, but okay. I got glowy dice. And they look really cool under my blue light, and I can't adequately oh. show them because oh, of this light goodness. right here. Oh, oh that's cool. That's oh, cool. I was really, I was, Hello, that friend. was really, that was really Matt, close to not being your great. Friend. <laughs> Hi, Kiki. <laughs> Kiki, do you have something you want to say to them? Kiki. Hello. Bye, Gigi. <laughs> stealth, stealth, stealth. Hi. Okay. <laughs> 30. Stealth. Be as stealthy Whoa. as Kiki was just nope. now. No good. No good. Not high enough. Uh, roll to B was Dang. a 35. What's up? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just want to see Selkie's reaction there. <laughs> oh, like that freaking 44 stealth roll you put into the chat that one time? <laughs> oh, yeah. And they gave no explanation. It's no like, explanation. okay. Just What's so freaking ever? For who? No. For who? <laughs> for who? Does not you matter. have to roll a 25 just to know for who it was. Yeah. <laughs> Abigail's it... fucking plus 16 can't see shit. You'll see eventually. So. Oh boy, that was my knee. That was also my knee. So stop mm, breaking your knees. As my knee is popping out of its own socket, um, you need better Abigail knees. and you know that would be nice. I should check the warranty on that. Um, Abigail should and Sir I... Wellington work their way out of the castle. Backtracking. Ooh, give me a sir. Who's leading? Abigail or Sir Wellington? Uh, I guess I am. Can I get a survival check? Okay. Um, okay. I'm not great. Um, that would be a 14. Hmm. Can I get an intelligence check from both Abigail and Sir Wellington? Straight intelligence? Straight intelligence. Okay. Well, that's a nat 20, so 25. I <laughs> get 11. Okay, Abigail, as far as you know, things are fine. Sir Wellington, it doesn't take you too long to realize you must have taken a wrong turn, and you feel like you're deeper into the castle now. It is up to you if you would like to tell the rest of the party. How is it that difficult to go back the way we came? It was a 15. You rolled a 14. <laughs> you were so close. But I know myself which direction we came from. But it's all, it's, it's a bunch of because, turns. Because, well, no, because it was one flight up and then we were in one room that went straight down. We only went through one room. Oh, yeah, you did. I don't know why that's requiring a lot of survival. No, never mind. The DC's a 10 because you only went through, I thought you went through three rooms. So I was having, adding, no. I was adding uh, DC's on based on the amount of rooms you went through. But since you went through one like, room, it's a DC I was of like, 10. Yeah. How hard is it to go up one flight of stairs and be like, we Never went through that door mind. right there. <laughs> Never mind my entire brilliant plan of, oh yeah, now they have to track their way back. Because in my mind, you guys like went through like, 14 flights of stairs and like three different rooms i think we did go through like 14 flights of stairs but it was all the stairs leading up to that first room where it was like we're just one climbing in the yeah. we're just yeah. climbing that, in the right. dark and yeah you got to this <laughs> one room and that was you either go up or down and you chose to go down so when you get back it's either up or down and obviously the answer is down so never mind the dc would be 10 and you passed it so 
with a nat 20 that is now completely wasted, um, yeah. you feel completely confident <laughs> that you are going the right way. That you're My nat 20 is just like, yeah, dog, that. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got this. Don't even you're worry like, about he, it. He starts walking with his chest puffed out a little bit. He's got a little... <laughs> dancing strut in there it's like um mm. you guys have mm. seen guardians of the mm. galaxy right yeah yeah it's like watching rocket just be like ha ha whenever <laughs> he thinks a plan is going his way it's just Tiny that raccoon strut. man hidden as gnome yeah. child right Ooh, or or um or baby groot just strutting <laughs> <laughs> either one of those applies here and if you combine them two together. Right? <laughs> Grocket. No. Uh, no. No. Or no. Root. Or root. <laughs> mm. That's better, but... Raccoons? Eh. No. What? No. It's that Rakuchi. Just... <laughs> That's it. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Throw his whole Rakushi into it. No. <laughs> that has saved me here. Uh, That's almost yeah. as bad as Legitsy, Bef- which before my they phone's get worse, still autocorrects too. I'm going to tab over to uh, Selkie <laughs> and Matt as you guys are in the Feywild. <laughs> I will never escape Legitsy. See, we got put on timeout. <laughs> yeah, y'all got put on timeout. <laughs> <laughs> I will not apologize for my actions. It was funny. <laughs> it was very funny. It was very funny. <clears throat> ah, the downside about doing it online is I can't do like with my home game where I'm like, that's it. And I walk into the kitchen and start making myself food. <laughs> Cause yeah, I just, I that. walk away from here and then where do I go? You. Exactly. No one knows where I went. It's a mystery. Believe in your dreams. Believe in your dreams. Don't believe on the cheats. It felt like good advice in my head. Um, sure. Callie, Marcus, you have enjoyed Hi. the Fey food. You have gotten acclimated <laughs> to your new surroundings. What would you like to do next? Oh, no. and you've Callie made has a not deal. Eaten Fey food. You have. No, Hold I. On. No. No. Yeah, no. Marcus, you guys, Marcus was cookies. the only one who did because Marcus literally said, don't eat the food. And then Marcus immediately went to go eat the okay, food. Like, and like, all of the NPCs that. have. What the fuck are you doing? But like, they were all given cookies. Yeah. They were all given cookies. Mm-hmm. Callie so has not Cal- consumed Callie, food. Callie was the only one who has not consumed a cookie. Did Callie Correct. not eat a cookie? Callie was Callie really being mean to tell me a 15 year old rejected cookies? Yeah, and being first disrespectful of all, to the Fae. Whenever she's a pretty much a student athlete, a, a student B. athlete. <laughs> I ate cookies as a student athlete, and guess yeah. what? B. Uh, whenever coach over there literally said, "You're now Don't playing eat D&D, the not playing." I'm not risking my scholarship. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Marcus is your... T- oh my gosh, Marcus is your teacher. I am so All sorry. Right, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Who, Callie? Yeah. Well, shit. All right. Wait, me too? Or- oh, no, just, just Callie. Callie. Uh, 21 gets oh, no. you on. Okay, nice. You seem fine. We seem fine. <laughs> yep. Oh, and you guys also made a deal with the, the, these Fae to help them steal something in return for getting out of here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, you guys broke fair, though, all the rules of the Fey in like the first five yeah, minutes. Marcus here. knows all of the rules to the Fey <laughs> and proceeded to and break them all break every immediately. Single one of hey, them. just so you know, though, he broke them for all of y'all because he wants you all to be safe. He's you like, get in here, you are like, okay, these are what not to do. So I will proceed to follow the music, make a deal with the Fey, eat their food. And... No, hey, I, I wasn't following the music. I was following the people that were following the music. I was trying to get them the hell out of there. <laughs> you can't. You leave them behind. There is no saving them. <laughs> you hear fa- what is, exactly what I said. If you hear fame music, no, you didn't. <laughs> if someone else hears fame music, you don't help. You don't see them. Oh my That's gosh. So okay, sad. but welcome, welcome to I, dealing with the Fae. Sometimes it's like, it's life's cruel. But yeah, let's just recreate Ocean's Eleven with our D and D characters right now. Let's just do that. 
<laughs> that is a very interesting description. Uh, Born Solo said, better to pee in the sink than sink in the pee. What's yeah. up? <laughs> yeah, I can get behind that. What is it, relation it, it, to this? It's the, old, it's the old adage from Master Ugwe. It is better to come in the sink than to sink in the cum. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> and there's the NC set. There's the R rating we look for. <laughs> and now we are we are properly a D and D podcast for adults, like we advertise. Uh, uh. As if we tried to be for children. Don't let your children watch this. <laughs> no, unless you're unless you guys are cool parents. Even then, maybe unless not. you're unless you're like raising a queer kid, and then you can let them watch it. It's fine. True. <laughs> this is a very. But we don't have a T. Tief- we don't have a player that's a T flame. Yeah, You're but I'm right. literally a flaming raging gay. We got an element. Yeah, we got a <laughs> raging gay. Fair. And a f- well, previous. Fam, edgy, edgy lesbian damp here. Well, actually, yeah. we don't know what Abigail's preferences are. That's preferences what I was about are. to say. I'm like, wait, we don't know. Well, <laughs> I kind of know some things, but you guys don't. <laughs> like <laughs> that, Mike, that chuckle. <laughs> like. Micah, the, wait, the, hold on. The, the, prefer, the preference is which warm, way Abigail blood. swings? <laughs> okay, Naz, quick question: the the Micah that is properly like the one that was in Miles Rebellion was she lesbian or she at least possibly maybe by like the there? Micah I, I'll tell you the truth. I originally made them all lesbians. <laughs> I just made an exception because <laughs> I was like, I'll turn that. Oh, it's defying, defying the 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 canonically every variant of Micah my, is a lesbian. <laughs> Terrell Except is defying one. the weave of the multiverse. Yep. I was about to say like you got the one by one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I could deal with that. So you there guys, one by Micah. And you you guys her. have <laughs> you found her. Congrats. <laughs> You, you guys have have made this deal with the, this this little fae fairy folk, and uh, little. this little raccoon unicorn guy that's with him, um, Hanala oh, and Kevin. Yeah, um, the freaking little fairy flying around. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to do next? What do you mean by freaking fairy? I hope you're not like- freaking a fairy. Don't frick fairies. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm moving on. Anyway. (laughs) But take your belt. No, I'm kidding. What's up? (laughs) Anyway. We're not talking about what Peter Pan did here. (laughs) Any whore? I'm I'm just saying. She can change her size and hook. That's all I'll say. Anyway. Uh, So, okay. So they haven't gone yet to this place where they're breaking into, right? Not yet. Can Marcus look around and see if there are any rogues that may be able to help? Anyone skilled in sneaking? Sure, just talking among the NPCs, you mean? Yeah, just give us an idea of how to plan things. Because as far as Marcus is concerned, he made the deal, so obviously (laughs) he's going to risk himself in that. And then he knows Callie probably won't want to stay behind so Callie's mm-hmm. going to come Dahlia's going to follow Callie so she's going to come and then like everyone well, else he's trying to keep safe damn Ian, it Ian you're Ian. killing me Ian, <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Ian is Ian. the Freddy Wong of this campaign oh yeah a <laughs> hundred freaking percent who's Freddy Wong Freddy oh, Wong. Well, I was actually going to say we can now say Dimension 20. Really? Uh, yes, he got on Dimension 20. So Freddie Wong started a podcast called a rowdy, horny podcast for grownups called Dungeons and Daddies. He's not the DM, but there are some times where he takes off and he might as well be. Um, but he uh, he was. So in other such- words, not Freddie Wong, more like Freddie Dong. Hey, yo. I need oh. to tag him in that. He would love that joke. Um, so, <laughs> Gail and I have been following them since they got started. Heard that joke, though? Probably not much, actually. Um, Surprisingly. I, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Um, 
but Kayla and I have been following them since they first started uh, back just before COVID hit. And uh, they're getting pretty big now. He my... actually, Freddie Wong got onto a recent uh, campaign of Dimension 20. Of course, the rest of his party called him a sellout because um, <laughs> he's he's my... doing them and, and Brand. My friend keeps telling me I need to watch uh, or listen to Dungeons and Daddies because it is literally me. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> that That's in a nutshell. You are. Okay. You are. They said that there's a character that is essentially Sir Wellington in that, and I was like, okay. Glenn Close? Is that the name? I, I have no clue. No, it's definitely that's not all Glenn. They, that's, that's all they said is just my with my uh, chaotic self and uh, the way I've done Sir Wellington that there's uh, some characters in there that are very much me. I was you can like, think okay. of us. Oh, 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 the kids, the Lords of Chaos. Yeah. Uh, oh, how Lord, did I freaking yep, forget them? Larkin Sparrow. Yes! Absolutely. Oh, yep. I see holy that. Holy crap. I, holy yep. crap. He is just them both together. Yeah. If you took the twins and merged them into one ultra chaotic individual, that's Sir Wellington. Yep. That is. Cool. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. That sums it up without the, the, the hatred for his father part. I have no hatred for my father. I didn't know my father all that well. Well, that's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my, that was heartbreaking. Um, chat would allow. What would? I mean, oh, what, yes. I mean, you can't really hate what you don't know. Fair. Well, so, um, what, uh, Marcus? Give me an investigation roll. Okay. Uh, let me just see. What is my investigation? I think that's just a one. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Matt, I don't, I know you haven't made it to season two yet, but in season two, there is a segment where Anthony made the mistake, Anthony's the DM, of letting Freddy play two characters. And what does oh, Freddy no. proceed to do for the next 20 minutes? Oh, no. He has the characters duel each other. And Sir Anthony's <laughs> like, okay, then narrate it. So he narrates both his characters <laughs> fighting each other in this epic ninja battle. <laughs> so basically what I did with Milo and Vladimir? Yes, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except much goofier. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Because uh, they, they a... didn't necessarily hate each other so much as they were just trying to show the other up. Fair enough. Also, that's, a, that's an eight. That's an, an eight? eight? You do not find any roguish individuals. No one there strike. You kind of like you look everyone over as they're like, kind of settling down and trying to relax a bit, and no one strikes you as a rogue. There, you find a couple teens that like they look kind of sneaky. They they would be good to bring along, but you don't uh, see any okay, that you wait, can be wait, like wait, 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 no, 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 no. Hold on. Stop this there. this is okay. I would do that, but this is Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> He would not bring teenagers who probably just snuck into a bakery or a freaking house to a fucking castle. Because Marcus yeah. is more Even after his experience with Sir Wellington and Callie? Yeah. Do they have magic? Do they have any abilities? You haven't I mean, asked them if they do. I haven't asked them. But okay, yeah, you know that like one second they're there and the next second they're gone and the next second they're back again. They're very good at sneaking around. Okay. So he'll like... Okay, this is how I'll go. He'll think about he'll originally be like his I guess not monk training. His cleric training will be like, no no no. The wrong can't one, that's involve me. kids. I... <laughs> can't involve kids. And he's like But there was also Sir Vinton, Callie. And then he's gonna go to kids like <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry. I, that was just him thinking, not him actually talking. He's gonna go up to the two kids and go, Hi, uh, can I ask and it's two of them, right? Or no, there's like four of them. Four. It's a little right. group. Okay. A little gang. Yeah, it's a little gang of kids. <laughs> All right, he's gonna. As uh, what a group of children is properly <clears throat> called. Yes. A gang. A gang. He's gonna go t to both of them and go. Uh, excuse me. Can I talk to you for for a second? They kind of like look at each other and shrug. All right. So, I have noticed. Y'all are a little bit 
Well, to be fair, you kind of disappear and then reappear. And I was just wondering, and this is no judgment, not going to punish you for anything. I just want to know how many of you, you four, have snuck into a place and then got out of there before anyone knew? Roll persuasion. Okay. <laughs> you a cop? Oh, you a right. cop? <laughs> you a cop? <laughs> No, hmm. he is not a cop. He is a literal youth pastor. Uh, that is like also that's easy. better. Like, yeah. Confess kind to me, like, and I totally won't tell the priest. Like <sighs> steer you away from like I had this dare contract. Yeah. <laughs> no, at the most he'll be like go with Christ. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that is a twenty. Uh, that is a twenty-three. That is a twenty-three. They're like, I mean, we've snuck in a few places every now and then. What's it to you? Hmm. He's just gonna... Uh, what if I told you that this one time someone... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. We all know Marcus would not be the one having those experiences at bank camp. He'd be the one switching. <laughs> anyway. Uh, he goes, what if you were allowed to sneak into a place. Go on. That takes the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one yeah. is like, that kind of takes the fun out of it, and she crosses her arms. <laughs> oh, even when you get to take something for free? Okay, that's a little bit in... in, in hmm. Alright. Is it... Uh, okay. In other words, you're no, allowing it, it, but they're not. <laughs> is it what? <laughs> Is it, We've is always it been allowed that, to enter. Right? Is it something that <laughs> we're like being told to just... Because if you're just told to go in and grab something, that's not sneaking. That's just going in and grabbing something for the person who's asking that's Aaron for running. It. Yeah, it's Aaron running. Yeah. I don't do errands. And they're like, yeah, no, I don't do errands. Oh. To be fair, Beth, fair enough. I will be hiring you, but we will definitely be sneaking into some place we do not belong. One kind of cocks her head, a little goblin girl, and if she you goes, get caught, it could mean death. So, <laughs> so this is going to be really dangerous. Yes. And do we get paid? Marcus just quickly checks his inventory to see how much gold he has. Mm -hmm. What does he have that can bribe these little, little troublemakers? I don't know, because Sir Wellington has not been sharing. <laughs> right sir wellington's been the main person looting sir wellington has the horde of all the best magic items if that doesn't scare you i don't know what will i mean not only that but i just have sh so much so much gold mm -hmm. eh, okay uh let's see wow vestments really don't cop really you're trying to be like, I can give you your own preacher's robes? Why is that your go-to? <laughs> Otherwise, I have to give them a war hammer, a hand axe, a couple hand axes. And... You really think they're going to go for the preacher's garments over the, the weapons? Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> here's an Listen, adult. I'd do anything for this somebody. This is a group of hand girls act. here, and you're gonna be like, "Here's an adult oh, man's wait, preacher's I, outfit." I thought that was mixed. Okay, it's all girls. Yeah, no, I got. To, There's. I yeah, yeah, there, there are four girls. Um, okay, so I thought it was a mix. I would give anybody there's, if they told me, "Hey, there's a goblin, me, I'll give you an, an elf, and two humans." Oh my god. A goblin, an elf, and two humans. All girls. Okay. Uh, you know, I literally just have the war hammer, the hand axes, and uh, the shield. You, know. you get 20% of <laughs> all my findings for the next year. Okay. Uh, how much gold does... Wait, how much... How do I even check my gold in this thing? I am not used to the... Oh. Oh, shit. I only have 15 gold. Oh sure. boy, yeah, you're gonna. I mean, to be fair, that's the equivalent of let's see if gold is fifty. 100. So no, 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 platinum's a hundred, gold is fifty. Oh. 
So, so that's seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Thank you. Can you assume? I'm wondering that... if I like that. I'm wondering if I should do one ten hundred, and then make platinum a thousand. I'll think that's about what it. I. That's what I did. But anyway, okay. There's nothing brave. I might change uh, my currency settings. Do, okay. Do any of them look like they would be interested in weapons? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking a group of people sneaking in. Are you interested in sharp, pointy things? Okay, so the amount of dedication I would give anybody if they said, "Hey, I need you to do this thing for me, and I'll give you an axe." Right? You kidding me? Okay, a plus. so he is going, <laughs> and he doesn't have a regular yep. shield. Okay, he does. I mean, he does have his regular shield, but then he also okay. All right, he's going to look at the girls, see that some. Why of them... don't you talk to your Fay Daddy and see if he can help? <laughs> yeah, no, he's not going to do that. He's <laughs> gonna... No, he's going to pull out the uh, two hand axes and the and the uwu hammer. Okay. You're gonna, no, don't give him the uwu hammer. <laughs> <You're> gonna, <laughs> give a he, teenage girl the uwu hammer. I'm sure yes. that's going to go well. Uh, yes, exactly. And so that's gonna, how she starts her own stream. <laughs> so he's going to... Sub to me and watch me battle these four orcs. I, I, I just... Okay, I just got a good idea. Okay, so it's 50, right? It sound like 50 is like... the gold. <laughs> okay, so Markham, fifty is fifty is a gold piece, right? Yeah. Okay. I have prepared. Okay, he's gonna look and go. All right, fair enough. I do. I have an idea. How about we make this a uh, a competition? We, we need people. So, like I said, we are about to sneak into somewhere we don't. A taller one who's dressed a little bit nicer than the others kind of crosses her arms and goes, we're listening. So, like I said, we need to sneak into a place that we are not allowed in, and we need to be in and out. Now, since there are four of you, We are going to have a little bracket, and he's going to uh, just start. He's going to first kneel on the ground. He's going to pull out the two hand axes, put them near him, and then he's going to take the war hammer, swing it a little bit so it makes the sound. Okay. <laughs> and then yeah, it gets their attention. They're like, hmm? <laughs> and he is going to pull out. Let's see. If 50 Be careful. Is a These are teenagers. Piece. Yeah. If 50 is a gold piece. In fact, then... you know what? Let me do a thing here. No, he's putting him close to him. As in, like, he is keeping him close. Okay. Yeah, well, when the hammer goes off, two more teens pop up. Oh. They just appear. They're like, manifested. Yeah. <laughs> so they now there's six. Interested. Yep, now you got six. He just looks and goes, oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> And the, go the goblin girl goes, I know. We need, I know who we need for this. I'll be right back. I'm going to get Winston. And she like scurries off. Can I do a history check to know if I know Winston? Yeah, go for it. Eh. Then what's the, eh. what's the thing? Okay, not bad. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, Winston is a hobgoblin kid. Um, he was one of the other survivors who kind of went missing back when the, the fortress was attacked. Um, turns out he was... He, he had escaped with his sister only to get captured by um, the roaming forces of undead uh, uh, who brought them to, to Histon, and now they've escaped around with you guys again. Okay. Uh, does he remember anything to why this little goblin girl would go and 
uh, get him? Uh, Winston likes mischief. Ah, and he goes. So he actually wants to go. Winston. Uh... And he's just going to quickly check his coin purse again. Like, <laughs> okay, how many do I have? Well, now you have five kids, so you have five gold per kid. Sorry, three gold per kid. Mm-hmm. They each get $150. Hey, that's a good day's work. True. That's a that's a really good day in Uber, so. And then yeah. you tell them they can each take one thing from, from the place besides the item that you have to take. That oh, yeah, is, no. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, considering six. Yeah, okay. So, oh, wait, no. Since is there six or there's seven? Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold math on. I'm is, doing math. Math is mathing. So if there's 17, three. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. Three. So there's seven that's going to be there. Yep. Seven in total. Well, once, once, uh, once the the goblin girl Dinya, once Dinya gets back with Winston. Winston is not a hobgoblin name. I don't know. What I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin isn't a Fey name either. But you know what? We're here. Fair enough. To be fair, though, Fey are disguising their name. So yeah, that's true. Is, is this true? No, <laughs> no Fey gives their true name. Yeah, but why Kevin? <laughs> Even a Hanala might not be his full name. Hold on. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I know how to do this. I'll I'll wait for Winston to come. Okay, uh, yeah, it doesn't take her long before she comes back with uh, a very curious hobgoblin with two piercings in his left ear in tow. Okay, so... Rebellious. Yeah, four mm-hmm. divided by 15, yeah, that's about four. He goes, all right, all right, glad to see you all here. All right, so, like I said, st- long story short, guys sneak in a place, we're not allowed to, and there are, we're going to make it a little game. All right. So there's one, two, three, four, five, there's seven of you. All right. This is what we're going to do. Because I want you all to have a little something for doing this. Four of you, all of you, get to pick one thing from the place we are stealing from. Only one. And you can't, and it can't be too big, too loud. It has to be something you can easily hide. It can't be the item we're stealing. And thank you, Ian. And we are looking. What are we looking for, Markham? Did uh, Kevin tell us last? Yeah, he time? said you're looking know. for a uh, uh, pair of magical gemstones. Okay. Only thing is, there are a pair of magical gemstones that we need to grab. Y'all don't grab that. That is for us. Anything else is up for grabs. And this will be the contest part, all right? So, four of you, all of you will get to steal something besides the two jewels. Four of you that still helped us will get three gold coin each. All right? Now, I hear you ask, what happens to the top three? Here's what happens when you reach the top three. Roll perception. Uh, Okay. That is a that is a nat twenty with a plus nine. They're looking bored. They look like kids who are sitting in class and just want the teacher to shut up and say they can go early. (laughs) Fair enough. They'll go quick. They'll go. Third place gets this. And he will pull out the plus one hand axe. Second place will get this. Now you get their attention again. (laughs) Second place will get this. He pulls out the great slayer hand axe. Although our number one spot, he puts them back in and brings out the uwu hammer and just starts swinging it. This will be for our number one little rogue that helped us get in and out without any issue. 
They all kind of glance at each other mischievously and they nod like, yeah, sounds good. All right. Seven of you. All right, yeah. All right. That's as it was. So, y'all up for it? Oh, yeah. Look, there's even a voice changer setting. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Oh, Ian, can I please can I can I please make that canon, Ian? I don't care. Why are you asking him? I'm the DM, damn it. Well, he had the smart idea, so I'm just gonna I quit. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Ian, you're I'm sorry, DM Mark. now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. Everyone quit lives. twice. I guess, I, I guess I guess you're playing Sir Wellington now, Markham. Well, that's okay, I guess. So, um, <laughs> all right, no, I burn you all the... to crisp. Oh, okay, boy. no, so he he won't it won't have that. It'll just how the was time to go. It'll just go, y'all in. They're like, oh yeah, <laughs> all right. And if you do have any means of protecting yourself, definitely bring them. Just just in case, all right. But uh, one of the girls grabs them. a stick. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, I lack the enthusiasm. See, that is the enthusiasm the that will stick give you the hammer. to cry, so she puts it back. <laughs> like, <laughs> the Fey oh yeah, Pharaoh. Pharaoh is, is, is weird. Pharaoh is weird. He's gonna point to that the stick. She, she just goes, "I definitely agree with that." <laughs> anyway, uh, was there a time we were going to do that, Markham? Yeah, as soon as you guys are ready, Kevin and and Hanala, we're gonna lead you there. Okay. He, okay. Cool. He's gonna go. It's up to you. Do you want to bring everyone or just those for the mission? No, it's just those for the mission. So everyone else is just staying here by the tree. I mean, we're gonna, yeah. Kev, Kevin assured that they would be safe, right? I don't think he ever assured any such thing. No. <laughs> Say it. Okay. Wait, Are you kidding? He's gonna go and go. <laughs> what? He's gonna think and go. Uh, Kevin, little question over here. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, you have a if, question for me? Yes, I do. Uh, He's just like flitting about. Uh, are the people gonna be safe? Uh, now, we. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You are very funny. It, it's the Feywild. It's the Feywilds. No one is truly safe here. For Selkie's oh, well. knowledge, what part of the Feywilds are we in? The wilds. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh great! Okay, fair, fair. I should have thought of that. But will they be a little more safe here? One of the most chaotic portions. Or should we uh, bring them with us? Because yeah, I, it are depends they... on a variety of things. Are they good in a fight? Would you feel safer with them here? I cannot answer these questions for you. These are things for you must know about your own people. Okay, well, uh, some of them can't fight. And quite honestly, I am worried about them wandering off. At least here. They're kind of already somewhere in the camp. Very well, very well. Then bring who you wish to bring, and uh, the rest may stay here. All right. Just tell so, them not uh, to wander off too far before you leave. Ah, uh, yes, because that worked so well last time. <laughs> Sorry, not, not, that well, was not toward you. Hopefully they will learn. Hopefully they will learn. All right. Yeah, that was not toward you. I do apologize for that tone of voice. But anyway, all right. So you seven will come with us, and you'll turn to the rest of us. And all of you, I love y'all, but please, for the love of all that is holy, stay here. It is the Fey Wild. I know it is not exactly safe for mortals, but this is safer than any other place we have encountered thus far. I know that is kind of terrifying, but still, can I trust y'all to stay here while we go and do the thing? There's like a chorus of, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, pretty much. What does Callie I'm say, ins- though? Is Callie is being the one, the ones being left at the tree? Yeah. No. Well, no, mm-hmm. Callie was coming. No, you Callie's said coming. just the seven. No. You said you no, seven, seven come r- with me. The rest of you okay, stay uh, at the tree. No, he pointed to the general group, as right. in like. 
Wait, Callie's in, was Callie's not included the in okay. the, the okay, competition. Okay, hold on. Rewind around. Callie was not included in the competition. Well, that's just because you I'm trying to bribe me. kids. Okay, so. You excluded build... me. Okay, rewind a little child. bit. So. How dare you? I mean, you're also a bit younger than these other kids he's bribing. These are like 16, 17, 18 year olds. I are you 15. kidding? I am 15. I, I just taught 15, 16, 17, 8 year olds today. There is a big difference between a 15 year old and a 16 year old. <laughs> Listen, okay. it's, hey. the, it's the sophomore, it's the day one sophomore to be like, oh my god, these freshies. Right. Uh, mm. It's like, no, you're cringe. Stop. <laughs> okay, so I'll remind that a little bit. He'll go, all right, I'm bringing these seven. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take Callie here too, because uh, I assume you don't want to stay here, right? You want to go do something? Fuck no. So wait, you do? Fuck no, I'm not staying here. Okay, I just want a little bit of clarification oh on that. I'm sorry. Oh hey, my god. You don't, you don't oh say Oh my god. It, you, don't, you don't say that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, you don't get to tell me what to say. I'm yes, a, sir, oh, oh. You're not my dad. Wow. I am very aware of that. Anyway. <laughs> y'all, the rest of y'all can say uh, oh. Dahlia, sweetie? Where are you? Dahlia? She's hanging out. She's She'll, fine. Naz, do you want to play Dahlia? <laughs> or, I'll end beats here. She's like, yes? Uh, Sweetie, do you want to join us in raiding the castle, or do you want to stay here? It's peaceful here. All right, you can stay there if you want. Okay. Can you just make sure everyone that is here is going to be all right for me? Can you do that? Okay. All right. Thank you, Dalia. You are a peach. Uh, that, that's a good I, thing, by the way. I'm not a peach. No, it, it's a phrase. It means you're very, uh, you're very nice. You're very care and all that stuff. It, it's good things. But how does that make me a peach? I will you're explain sweet, it later. Dahlia. That. But being sweet does not make one a fruit. In this world, it does. It's the fel, the fel frame is weird. Uh, I, I will explain it when I get back. This world okay. is weird. Favor is weird. You are telling me. Anyway, so these seven. Boy, Dolly is fun to play. Sandian, <laughs> Sandian. <laughs> <laughs> right, so these seven. What? What? What now? No, Sandian. <laughs> What happened? Tom Ian's, Ian's brain is going. Pink. All I heard was was the uh, the giant peach. It says because you got a giant peach. Hey yo, hey yo! I thought we were talking like the movie, <laughs> the greatest movie. Oh no! <laughs> all right. Um, the reason Callie's all over so yeah, that. He will take the seven. <laughs> Callie. Yeah, the seven and Cali. He, he's taking all the teenagers. Oh, yeah. the teenager. Hell yeah. <laughs> Youth pastor. <laughs> yeah. He has literally fulfilled, and he is doing like the like thing that a youth pastor would dread. Oh my he's God. He's a chaperone. No. He's a chaperone. You're, 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 you're youth pastoring them to an escape room. Right. That is better. That That is what I will tell himself. As, as you guys are traveling through the, the wilds, um following kevin and hanala um can you both uh make perception checks for me yeah uh that is a unnatural 20 18 not bad all right, all right. <laughs> um you spot a number of strange creatures there are women that look like trees with hair they're like leaves and stuff like that um, no. You guys can like, keep your distance from them and stuff. There are some satyrs dancing around a fire. Um, there are... Uh, Marcus actually spots... Uh, roll a nature check for me. Okay. Uh, what is Marcus's nature, actually? I have no idea about that. That's a good question. Oh, okay. 13. Not much. All right. All right. 13. 
Okay. Um, you guys um, walk through this field of... Um, uh, da, 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 there we go. Uh, you walk through this this field of of bulbous plants protruding from the ground. Um, uh, you notice that Ehanala does not step on any of these these plants. He kind of like tiptoes between them and stuff. And of course, okay. um, the other one is just flying. Um, it is up to you to follow his lead or just kind of mosey through. Uh, I'm going to follow his lead. If he is doing this, there is good reason for it. All right. And plus, the plants are alive here, so... So, uh, like, does yeah. Callie follow suit as well? With an Heck 18, yeah. you also pick up on that. All right. Yeah. Um, you guys tiptoe through just fine, um, leaving the uh, the strange bulbous plants behind. Um, Hanala kind of turns around as you guys go through. He goes, oh, good. I almost forgot to tell you. Um, don't step on those plants. They are uh, mandrakes. Uh, you will not like them when they're angry. That is fair. Uh, good thing I followed your lead. Yes, thank good, good, good job on doing on doing that. Let's keep it up. Thank you. I am very good at following orders. Eh, some of the time. I am. I am sure. I am sure. Um, you guys continue always more. Give me another perception check. Another unnatural 20. Yeah, <laughs> 12. 12, okay. Um, uh, as you proceed a bit further, uh, you notice there are, like, in the trees, there are these beady little eyes glaring out at you. Um, Callie, you do not see the eyes, but what you do right. hear... Is a soft violin melody playing nearby. Oh boy. And I assume Marcus also hears that too. Nope, just Callie. Oh. Wait, I got a I got a unnatural twenty I don't okay. Oh Do I, I see the a, eyes, right. Do yeah, I get a wisdom save against the music? Uh, it depends. Are you going closer to it, or are you just kind of shrugging and moving on? I'm... Callie's kind of curious. In that case, yeah, make a wisdom save. Yeah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Ten. You feel the urge to follow this music to its source. Well, here we go. Oh, no. Uh do I? Here we... She's a candle. You can't miss her. I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, you I'm just like... yeah with the with the twenty perception, you see this little candle just do 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 do. Uh, and double candle. Know. She's got yeah, a tail. Yeah, yeah, the little Charmander, Charmander, Charmander tail just like bobbing <laughs> behind the seat. Uh, 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 is there anyone near her? No. Oh shit. Uh, uh hold on. Oh, don't be don't be bad at this, daughter. But just gonna try and do something. I'm adopted. Uh, Apparently. <laughs> How do I not have any wall spells? Shit. Oh, that's wait, not a cleric on. thing. No, I have hold person. Okay. Okay. Let's yeah, say yeah, wisdom save from Callie. Yep. Uh, it is a seventeen to beat. <laughs> What? What? Unnatural twenty. Oh. Yeah, the spell fizzles out and she's Bye. just kind of <laughs> bouncing off into the distance. Uh, Bye. Uh, oh, oh no, uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin, we lost someone. We, we, we need it. Bye. Oh, oh no. Well, I'm I'm so sorry. We must keep moving. <laughs> no, no, we need to grab her. No. No, if if someone no. if someone disappears into the woods here, you do not follow. Or, no. No. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Can can you by chance follow? Oh no, can I, I am I am not doing that. You're, you're fair bound by fair bound by fair rules as <laughs> <Right>. well. <laughs> I have not lived as long as I have by following music. 
She's outside of my line of sight at this point, right? She's okay. getting close to it. You can still see the candle bobbing in the trees. Okay, hold on. Is she 60 feet away? She's about 60 feet away at this point. Yeah, quite easily. Okay, good. One last chance. Another old person. All right, another wisdom save. <laughs> Mother no! Watch another nat 20 happen. What am I rolling against? Oh, uh, 17. Meets it, beats it. No! Meets it, beats it. All right. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Callie wanders off and then ends up with extra appendages. It's just it's just a thing now. <laughs> <laughs> it does happen, yeah. It just looks like us. Or a girlfriend. Who knows? <laughs> she already had one. Yeah, then we broke That's up. A couple. <laughs> she she just fly she just grab a girlfriends from every place. You know, we're gonna have you come know, back they got hoes in different area time. codes. It's like it's like hoes in different oh. realms. As, <laughs> as he sees that the spell failed again, turns to Kevin and go, uh, okay, Kevin, uh, I, I, uh, how much of a chance do they have, how, how much of a chance do you have to come back? Maybe. She'll be, she'll be fine on her own, but if we follow, <laughs> we are putting ourselves at an unnecessary risk. But won't she be at risk too since she's going alone? She will be less at risk than if we all go with her and wind up trapped as well. It's fine. It's just servitude. You are fr welcome to roll insight if you wish. Yeah, I'm freaking rolling insight. And yes. Uh, not a nat 20, but a 19. So that is a freaking 28. Uh, no, he's definitely lying. She's a goner and you need to count your losses or you're joining her. <laughs> Uh, it's just servitude. It's fine. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, can ah uh, can uh he toss something to her? Uh, not feet distance. away. Can he throw something at her that's like eighty feet away at this point? Three she is a, she is a monk. She's booking it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in that case, uh, she's yeah. probably like closer to hundred feet away at this point. She's booking it. So, like, if I toss the walking sending... speed of forty five, shit. So I can't <laughs> toss a sending stone at her and wait. No, that would mean I would have to. Th oh fuck! No, there's no good way out of this. And freaking uh, Sorsha doesn't know. Shit. The dice have just decided, so he returned to Faye. And I don't have message because that's not a fucking cleric spell. Return All right. to the Faye. All right, he's, he's going to look. Summoned. Realize that, like, there's also seven teenagers that are there, too. And he looks and he goes, uh, Golly, you better fucking make it home or I'm going to go to the Faye by myself and drag it from wherever the hell you're in. <laughs> And then he's Goodbye. just going to look at Kevin and go, oh, let's just go, let's just go, let's just go, let's just go before my instincts overtake me and I go and chase that little candle. But, oh, all right, all right, hurry, let's go. And he will lead you on towards, as you you continue through the thick woods, they kind of open onto this little hill that has this massive, beautiful um, gold and like other precious gems and metals uh castle that's built um in the middle of these woods um i with... forgot i mixed up the fey rules so it's not servitude she's just gonna be lost forever <laughs> <laughs> until somebody finds her yeah basically uh she's wander and not know where she came from or where she's going she's cotton eye joe in it right now so abigail and sir wellington you guys have made it mm -hmm. successfully down the stairs to the exit and back out onto the uh, River of Lava Plateau place. What's your next move? Okay, what are we trying to do? I believe we are trying to find Abigail's sister, Micah. Is that accurate? Yes. 
All right then. As, as, uh, so she's the one that was with that was that was with the old dude and the hag when the when they when they banned me, huh? Most likely, yes. Probably. Yeah, because I remember I was like, "Wow, there, there's Abigail not sharing like personal information again, because not wanting us to be friends and keeping that stuff about having family away from everyone." So, yeah. Do you want Sir Wellington an apology? A life story? No, I think it would be good to share every things every once in a while, though, because you know that's what things are for, oh, and good it's good. It, it's it's good to it's good to share about things with other people. You heard the open and ominous gnome child share things about yourself, deep personal things. Oh yeah, deep personal thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well. I suppose there's no hiding it. I have a sister. She's here. How did she get here, by the way? I, I didn't see her on the boat. She was not on the boat. How did she... So, was she already here? No. She... What happened? It's quite unfortunate. She arrived Eddie. here because of a ritual, I suppose. Oh, so you did something that brought her here. Well, not just to bring her here, but in a way, yes. Man, after being here for a while, you would think that you would be like, wow, this is not a nice place. This is not like for family gatherings. I should not bring my sister here, but I guess you do you. I know, Sir Wellington, but you wouldn't have been safe back home, and I had to make sure it worked. I was bringing her back from the dead. Oh. Okay. But I thought you were already dead. Not quite. But you said you weren't uh, like that the uh, living things were beneath you before. They were. No, but not didn't. anymore, huh? <laughs> no. Welcome to the land of the living. This is a threat. <laughs> there is no, there is no. There so, is no so, so, where, so, 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 where, so, so, where do we find your, your sister then? I made a pact with Houston that I used to be able to communicate with him. I'm not sure if it would still work. You made a pact with Houston? Yes. So can can you do like this and he like shoots Eldritch Blast? I can. Okay, if he's if you can still do that, he must still be alive. So he um, is still alive. So where is he? And I'm gonna make sure he's not very long. But, but then I you just... lose the then but then you lose the ability to do that. Oh don't give a shit. As long as he's dead. I can find another way to do magic shit. Okay. He betrayed me. Maybe I can become your patron. I can give you lots of cookies. <laughs> Cookie patron! <laughs> Cookie patron! It wasn't supposed to be like that. And also, stop tempting me with the cookies. But they're so good! I know, but I'm not supposed to like them. Why not? Because I... Because... Because they're not blood. Yes. Have a bloody cookie. Stop it. Okay, I'm going so to where's Histin? And reach out to Histin. Okay. 
and she's gonna try and re she had a telepathic pact she's gonna just try and let me reach out to the person I betrayed let's see if they answer me <laughs> all right well she's just gonna yeah uh we'll see. roll arcana okay a roll arcana okay oh 26. You feel like you have a connection for a split second. And then it feels like it's intentionally cut off. <laughs> and like, there's up. almost like a dial tone. Like, <laughs> you know. you hung up <laughs> oh, he... Did you get arcanely left on red? <laughs> he does not yep. want to talk to me. You got arcanely <laughs> left on red. God damn. Wow. I've never uh, seen someone shut down a signal so quickly. You also have a pretty good idea. He now knows that you're not trapped in hell anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gave away your position. Yeah. Well, yes. Can I yeah, can I triangulate him from that or no? Roll let's do uh do another arcana check. I was about to say, didn't we do arcana for the whole Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to triangulate Houston. Good. Where's her gun? I'm just rolling. Really do better. Oh, it is better. 27. Don't care your bad. animals. Okay. That's not bad. It's almost a net 20. It's really good. It's a 19. That is not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, Yeah. Uh, You have a pretty good idea. Um. <clears throat> You, uh, hang on, let me check the map. Uh, That's so funny. there's a good Instant chance. Instant signal. No. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, da da. Hmm. Oh my gosh! Not Lord of the Rings, no. Um, no, no not Lord of the Rings. That's, not... that's um. Don't. Uh, a team. Uh, I was about to say. Okay, uh, he is down in the Devil's Claw Mountains. Well, you wouldn't know that's where it is, but there's mountains to the south of you, um, way to the south, um. And he's somewhere down there. She just kind of like laughs and points towards the mountains. She's like, we have to go kill that bitch. <laughs> this way. Yes, I wait to kill that. the bitch. This way. <laughs> so are we outside and can we see where they are pointing? Uh, yes, you are outside. And yes, you can see that she is pointing to the south. Okay, so uh, uh, Albarian, do you want to take us there, or do you want to rest and then I take us there in the morning? Uh, I can, I can, I can rest. Um. So you want to rest? I think we should take a rest and then head there. Okay. In the morning. Okay. Well, we'll we'll go we'll go find your your uh your 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 old uh the old man who gave you powers uh in the morning. Then Abigail. Understand that we need to kill him. He will probably try to kill us, but we need to kill him first. Well, maybe we should talk first because you know that 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 killing isn't always the solution. It, right now, I promise you, it is the solution. So, but why? You didn't want him to get hurt before. And before he was, he made a good point. The only person that is really not nice in that group is if the old lady is there. The old lady is his girlfriend or wife or whatever. I don't really know. Oh. So, yeah, so by that association, might not be good. if you don't like her, you can just kill him guilt free. Hmm. Listen, but if you really don't like him, maybe we should kill her first, and then it makes him suffer. 
And then we can that ask him questions. That works for me too. Wow. I don't care. If this she's there. When you don't have Marcus. <laughs> but but uh, that, uh, but shouldn't we just ask both of them questions first? Sir Wellington, he is holding my sister hostage. Is are they holding them hostage, or is it that it is just something where the that your sister went with them because they your sister went? Abigail is not being very nice to me right now. I am nice to my sister. I said right now. Because I was dead. No, maybe because I don't know. You did something that made made them not very happy, and like you do. Like I, I, I like you. You're, you are a friend of me. But then there are times where you do stuff where you make me not very happy, and so I can understand that if you did something right before they left that made them not very happy, why they might be a little frustrated and not want to talk to you right now. I know how I am, but she left with him after he came back from the dead. Okay. She didn't go with him. He took her. Okay. So she did not go willingly. She did not. Okay. He had her. They had her in a jar. What is it with people putting things in jars? It's my question. I didn't really get it when Callie told me there was a bunch of people there in jars. But I guess it is pretty messed up. Do we make them bigger by turning the dial to W? <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> I feel like it's something I should get, but I don't. I love you so much at this moment, Ian. <laughs> I love you so much at this moment. <laughs> what? Yeah. You got to turn w. it to W for Wombo. For Wombo. What? I don't get it no, either. I Wombo, Bunch, you Wombo, Wombo he she Wombo, Wombology, the study of Wombo. Hold on, I'm gonna find that scene and I'm gonna put it in the chat so <laughs> yeah, all y'all can hear it. Hold on. In in SpongeBob, uh, all the people are shrunk and they get put into jars and they're trying to figure out how to make them larger again. And Patrick goes, "Well, just turn the thing to W." He's like, "What for? What? Because it's M for minim, like for minimize." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's like, "For Wumbo." And he's like, "Wumbo? Yeah, you know, I Wumbo, you Wumbo." He, she, Wumbo, Wombology, the study of Wumbo. <laughs> the, oh my gosh. I've never seen that. <laughs> I found it. Y'all can't say nothing about it now. You have to watch it after, of course. Did you guys get quiet or? Yes. No. Oh. oh, yes. I was like, I come back and all of a sudden I don't hear anything. Sorry, there was a bug in the room. I had to take it out. Uh, ooh. Sorry about that. Any so <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. All right, you, uh, so, uh, troublemakers, um, Yes. I uh, where did I? Uh, I I lost you guys at the wumbo part. I got it in a bag and I just took the whole bag right outside to the trash can. It's always fun catching live bugs in the house. Oh. What did I miss? We just got sidetracked at the wumbo because you had to explain. Oh, okay. It to so me. we're still on wumbo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, we have understood the wumbo. 
Fantastic. All right. Wellington didn't actually say that. But... Yeah, well, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I will let you guys get it back on track then. No, we're going to set up for, like, he has said his, what he needs to say. Oh, he okay, goes, okay. Okay, I, okay, I guess I guess we can ask ask your sister when we get there what her thoughts are on all this, but I guess for now we should probably sleep. And Sir Wellington's just going to dig a hole into the, like, the side of the, the ground. I, I was not suggesting we sleep right here. We should probably get a bit further away from the oh, exit okay. of this. Wherever they camp for the night, he's going to burrow. He's going to make try a and little get a... hidey hole. She's going to try and get a word with Alvarion then. All right. Go for it. Um, You pull him aside. Sure. Uh, I I will take first watch. Okay. He just just under. And then on top of that, he's gonna go ahead in his little hidey hole, cast Liam in his tiny hut, and Smart. take a long rest. I so don't think so. Pass it. Yeah. Hmm? She's going to be talking to Alvarion as she pulls him aside or something. Uh, yes, what is it? I don't think Sir Wellington's plan will work. What makes you think that? I think if any one of us comes within sight of his den, he will start hitting or shooting magic or whatever. I don't think he will be happy, and I don't think he will want to answer any questions or let me see my sister. All right, what do you suggest then? You have had kill the most... him on sight. Fair We're enough. not playing games. <laughs> Murder. We make this game with with dice and numbers. We're not. There's no longer games. Murder him on sight. <laughs> I betrayed him he betrayed me we both died I think both of us have very strong feelings about each other that are very negative I don't think any one of us will hesitate to start escalating the level of violence you shouldn't be there very well then I will be prepared good Can I, like, also, like, I mean, I don't know if it's better to roleplay this or just say that I say this. She's going to try and give him, like, the spells he knows, the stuff she knows that Histon knows, like, from, like, almost a year of being with him. She's going to try and remember, like, strategies he would use or, like, stuff that she remembers about Histon. She's going to detail that to Alvarion. Uh... Oh, so just kind of like information download, everything she knows about yeah. Histon Talbarion? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, roll insight as you do this. Oh, great. Her best rolls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's so insightful. Go, Abigail. Okay, well, that's a nice, beautiful nine. As All right. always. Yeah, uh, he seems... To just be listening attentively. Nothing in particular <laughs> so the sticks gun. out to her. Him. All right. All right. Um, uh, do you take your rest as well? Uh, what order of re uh, watch are you guys taking? Uh, I'll bury on say he was taking first. Okay. She can take second, I guess. Okay. Volunteer Mike for third. 
or no, Dolores, Dolores, that's her name, Dolores. Dolores. Volunt yeah. I'm I'm volunt I'm gonna volunteer Dolores. Okay, with Dolores her. takes third, and then Sir Wellington the last one. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, There's four. Do I get my eight hours? Yes, you definitely get your eight hours. You you definitely. Okay, get he'll he'll hours. he'll come up at the end, of, like the fourth with the fourth one, and just sit there and watch the sunrise as he as after his little bubbles dissipated, and he'll sit there with with uh snickers and they'll both eat like slowly eat a cookie they'll share mm -hmm. like a bit of it with snickers okay um We're so <laughs> can i get a six-year-old keeping watch <laughs> can, I, can i get a it's in good hands can i get Don't a perception worry. check from abigail oh no they picked the wrong watch that's an 18 it's not bad we're only level 10, so we gotta kill him down with our use of having, like, 20-some numbers. We're practically babies. That is true. Yeah, you are. Yes, the, babies. The scale of, la of levels is very odd to me, but, you know, whatever. Maybe. Right. The it fact that you only dark. get up to level 12 in Baldur's Gate 3... It's kind of, yeah. Which only leads to tell me that there's going to be more content. They're going to be adding to be, more right? to it. Doesn't necessarily mean that. Could just be they don't want you to be overly overpowered. Yeah, that's more yeah. what it is. So... I had, to, I had to install mods to actually do what I wanted to do. Oh. Oh, I'm so terrified of using mods because I have so many multiplayer games that I'm like, it's going to just fucking combust. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no, it, it's more... It, the main thing I added was uh, 5e spells. Uh, if, you both have the mod, if you both have the mods installed, it's not a problem. Okay. All right, let's see. I wanted Booming Blade. That's what I wanted. What, what was Abigail's perception? 18. 18. Um, you hear some distant um, movement as far as um, movement. Fiends exploring the terrain out there. Um, but nothing comes particularly close. Uh, the yeah. others go through their watches also without any particular issues. And then we come to Sir Wellington. Um, yeah. Does See, Sir 17 Wellington plus wish to... one. Yeah. Uh, you also hear some distant um, fiends 18. out there. Um, nothing particularly close, though. Okay. All right. Um, we will come back to you guys in a moment. Let's go over to... Actually, I need to run to the restroom. So we take a five-minute break, and then we will come back with Callie. Oh, how dare you? Okay, but time check, though. It's still Thursday. Yes, it is. Um, we'll be wrapping up with Marcus, so we'll go Callie and then Marcus. Okay. Marcus only has one more skill check to get to the castle, and then we'll wrap it up for the, uh, for the day. <laughs> Callie's gone. We're, we're <laughs> ending really early. We are? We're at 11. Oh, it's 11. We usually oh, end no. around 11 EST. Yeah. yeah. Do we? 11, 11, 30, yeah. We try to because Naz and I to. have work in the Martin Mormon. Yeah. Yes. That is true. We normally technically we have, run late. Yes. We have office jobs that require us to get up at the ass crack of dawn. <laughs> that is so always nice. so lovely. We need to start earlier. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we do. That's why I was I like, I think we could try and start by bumping it back again. Um, I'm consistently home earlier now, so I can actually get set up that earlier. Would be, do that it like would seven. Be nice because. Yeah. Realistically, we've only played for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, I mean, we also yeah. get sidetracked. We get sidetracked a lot, and that is part of the. We, I know, but yeah, but we're no, all I ADHD. I no, we I don't mind the. I, 
I don't mind getting sidetracked. I'm looking at the time, and I know we started roughly half hour into the countdown. Like we need to accommodate for it. So we should start a little earlier. If we could start at like yes, seven, that's... I know that I'll be home by then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and even with the new job, hopefully, even with the new job I'll get, I'll still be home here around three. Th- oh wait, you guys are two hours ahead of me. Yeah. No. Dude, Ian doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, Ian yeah, doesn't sorry. count. He, it's the, it's the next day. <laughs> it's, when did, when did it's Friday he, for him. <laughs> wait, when do you two get home, Selkie and Naz? I try to get home around six. Okay, no, yeah. I'll if still I don't be stay good. late, I'll be cutting it a wee bit close, but I'll still be able to come because uh, jo- the new job will end around. Uh, and you'll be ending Pretty around dark. four, four ish yeah, our time. Around, around four ish. Yeah, so you'll have so. loads of time. Oh yeah, no, I'll be fine. My brain. Hmm. I like getting into play. I was like, Logan, play too, which is why I'm like, I need a job that ends somewhat in the afternoon so I can still be with you guys. I, love, I love getting y'all. to play, and I also love getting adequate sleep and not becoming an intolerable yes. evil person. <laughs> no, I get that. I, 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 I just more, I more ask because the amount of times we've played to like one in I the know, morning. I know. So, yeah, and us, so us say <laughs> time so check, and it's like, I'm like, we're ending two hours before, like, we used to end, and an hour before when I expect us to end. And then Naz and I face the consequences of only getting, <laughs> like, four-ish hours of sleep. <sighs> Fair. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. <clears throat> Maybe so, we can actually start at when our official start time was originally. Maybe. Seven. I think we could Seven. probably bump at that. Yeah, I'll check. 8 I think p.m. We EST, do that. like, actually start the, game, the sessions. Yeah, so, time. like, call time should be, like, 7.30, and then we start. Yep. Eight. You guys can try it out next week. I won't be here next week, and then the week after that, I'd be like, okay, cool. Right. <laughs> Right. You're not going to be oh. here next week? I, I've i told you for a long oh, time. Oh, you did. I'm, yes, I, that's right. I, I have, we have a staff conference up in Hokkaido. So. Yep. I'm going to be in the northern part of Japan for like three days. Right. Oh, God. It's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be bet. cool weather. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's starting to get cooler down here. It is. Which is weird. Because it's just not supposed to get cool in September here. It's supposed to get so, cool in like November. E- evenings are gonna be like fifty five there, and it's gonna be nice. Mm-hmm. Uh Selkie, I'm going to give you one yes. chance to break it. Okay. So it's another wisdom save. Yep. Cool. <laughs> now nah, it's a twelve again. All right. <laughs> Bye. We're going to get well, time to a, new a new character, I guess. Um, Great. Use one of my very long list of what oh, I could bring in cinema. Please let me bring in cinema. Hmm. We'll talk. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's see here. My tragic beyond tragic character. Y'all thought the team was depressing. Y'all are not so.
Let's see. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, one second here. There we go. Okay. Um, so, Selkie, as you are proceeding forward, um, Mm -hmm. You hear, give me a perception check. You just kind of wandering, following the music. It's filling your ears, your minds. Everything in life m only serves to drive you towards this music. Natalie's meant to die. It's an eight. Okay. Um... <laughs> You do not hear as something approaches behind you. Cool. You Just... snag your foot on a tree, uh, uh, on, on a tree root that proceeds to like lash up and kind of grab your ankle. Hey. Can you make a charisma saving throw for me? A charisma? A charisma? <laughs> <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, you got suddenly, minus one of my charisma. Wait, never mind. It's the same. Okay. You suddenly vanish from where you are and find yourself standing in the middle of roll a perception check. Oh. <laughs> Six. Six. <laughs> Great. You don't know where the <laughs> fuck you are. <laughs> You're somewhere. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to play the low rolls. <laughs> You're not doing well. Or not, no. <laughs> oh, it's boy. the it's the your your mind it will just say it's your mind clearing yeah. from the fogginess yeah. of the as, music. As it's kind of like clearing, yeah. you're like, where am I? You look around, the ground is just ashen wasteland everywhere. Oh, we're back here again. I'm back in the as fucking around, building again. Give me a Oh, okay. You already did a perception check. You very much failed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel a hand on your shoulder from behind Spooky. you. Spooky. Whipping. We're whipping around. You're whipping quick. around? Yeah. Give me a Snack. strength saving throw. That I'm good at. Let's go. I'm natural 20. <laughs> okay. You yank out of this powerful individual's grasp, and you look up. Standing at six, no, seven, ooh, eight feet tall. Big boy. <laughs> Big boy. Is a very large woman with large Hot. horns protruding from her head. Hot. Gets better and better. And. Does she have a giant sword? <laughs> she does strap uh, her back. Uh, uh, Did Mark try, no, Mark try to do some has... sword fighting? Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sorsha has what kind of weapon? Oh, this is not Sorsha. No, well, no, but like, she has a great she sword. She has right? a warhammer, I think. What kind of muscle mommy are you pulling that is eight feet tall? Like, mm. I mean, you just a car lack. I mean, all mommies <laughs> are good, but then there's also mm, okay. Sorry. The muscle mommies Continue. are great when they're giant muscle. Mo oh. Uh, hey, I'm just I'm debating the between mall mommies and great sword mommies. So just keep going. Just keep going. Mm. Roll. Her skin is a deep burgundy, and she has oh. a long reptilian tail. Though, uh -oh. it seems to differ from her smooth humanoid skin. She has long, almost deer-like ears that kind of point downwards. And uh, her lips are kind of a pale silver. Uh, her I'm eyes, in danger. Her eyes are very bright green. And her hair a deep purple. Make another perception check for me. Ah, 16. Okay. 
Uh, peering around, you see behind her is a small portal. And through that portal is a lush green forest. Not unlike the uh, one you just were in a moment ago. I got yeeted? Plucked? Plucked from the Fey Realm? Like a sad little candle? <laughs> yes, that like candle a sad took... little candle. <laughs> a sad little candle? I love Make how a religion all check my... for me. Excuse me? Hey, I'm proficient in that. Good job, monkness. Hell yeah, monkey. Monk, 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 monk. 18. All right. She wears knee high leather boots and a blue and green skirt kilt thing with a, a sash and golden tassels. And um, leaf like designs on her um golden colored bracers and a dark green kind of a midriff top with off the shoulder sleeves as you look up at her your stomach kind of turns in knots as you recognize from ancient lore books that you've read at the temple Alfdeen the Bewitching. One of the Archfey. Uh -oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. She she grabs your wrist again. Rather firmly and not particularly friendly. And she's scowling Jeez. down at you. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? And she, she kind of, she, give me another strength saving throw. Oh gosh. 25. Okay. Yeah. Make More a wisdom tech. saving throw. Great. Did it? Four. Oh, now, now, now she gets the four, Matt. Your, her body just seizes up. Don't be escape. Yeah. <laughs> you, well, you, you keep yanking out of her grasp, and so she casts hold person, and you just <laughs> just picks you up by the scruff. Now, yeah, just basically, like, she right. like picks you up like a a, a a wet kitten, and she goes, you did something to my daughter. We're going to fix her. Oh, now. No! And she proceeds to carry you off in a direction you can't tell because you're just kind of staring at her chest region as she holds you up. I mean, that's a good deal. <laughs> There's worse things to stare at. <laughs> There's very worse things to stare at. Okay. Um, <laughs> if Callie wasn't questioning her sexuality before, it's happening she is right now. now. <laughs> uh, Sir Wellington, what did you get on your roll earlier? Your watch roll. Oh, 18. 18. Uh, you're the last one. Like, Dawn is beginning to break. And you kind of see in the distance. An eight foot tall Archfey, who you 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 recognize this individual. Um not from any personal experience, but stories about her and stuff. Carrying you can't make out what, but it's she she seems to be carrying a human body a or something. A lantern. Yeah, yeah, a little lantern, human-shaped lantern, um, <laughs> with it with a fire on the tip of her tail and on top of her head. You could probably guess this might be Callie. Um, <laughs> she is carrying. She's her... kind of iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has an iconic look. She does. 
Uh, she is carrying her straight towards the Obsidian Castle. Avarian, 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 Avarian. What is it? I'm trying to sleep. The, the, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. This is really not good. The, 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 what's the name of the entity? Alfdeen. Alfdeen is carrying Callie towards the castle. Alfdeen, Alfdeen the Archfey here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck is wrong with this place? <laughs> I don't know. Sits up with an old thought, man. I, <clears throat> um, growing. I thought I just. I thought I destroyed the the portal. Archfey do not always need portals to travel between worlds. <sighs> oh my! All right. Ah. Uh. Or she possibly came through earlier. Oh, what the fuck is she doing here? All right, I will. Uh, I'll pursue. Um, you stay here and um. Just keep watch over the camp. I'll be back soon. All right. Okay. Just, let's just keep going from bad to worse here. It seems, and he'll kind Math of like. Math isn't mapping. Yeah, he'll, he'll get up and just, just follow behind quietly. Uh, he'll go invisible. Um, Marcus, can I get one more perception check from you? I feel like Alberian is smart enough to know that that's not going to help. Oh, yeah. But what else are you going to do? <laughs> that is true. It's more uh, for the it's more for the devils that, that are around. Now yeah, you said perception, enough. right? Yep. Okay, that's a 18. All right. Once again, you come across uh, kind of a strange-looking bog, and you notice that Hanala isn't there anymore. Wait, the person leading us? No, the little raccoon-horned guy. Okay, but Kevin is still there. Kevin is still there. Yeah. Um, after a few minutes, um, of kind of trotting along through the marsh, you kind of hear. A <laughs> And, um, Payton. Payton is another character who, um, any number oh, yeah. of characters here could be. Um, uh, and, and, uh, Hanala kind of gets back, uh, kind of like scurries back up. Sorry, I was doing the Payton voice and I didn't even realize it for Hanala there. You did do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> stealing, stealing Ian's thunder here. With my little NPC here. <laughs> Payton is another chaotic kid character that very much could fit Sir Wellington. Or apparently, gotcha. since I did it for a Hanala. A Hanala. Um, I'll steal your thunder yet. Create That's not nice. <laughs> You're supposed to be a unique character. Not anymore. <laughs> it's like Dang. Micah was going to be a wonderful, unique Gampier character. And then I made like 13 of her. Yeah. Just 13? No. Yeah, there's a, but there's literally copy-pasted. Yep. <laughs> copy-paste, different colors. I think there's actually only 15 multiverses, so. Well, and then you, got the pair of, then you got the pair of verses, and then you got the copies of them. No. It's and then pair, it's, it's not like Marvel, it's just the 15 pair of verses. Okay, it's that's not, not bad. It's not infinite combinations. Good gosh, that would be too easy. <laughs> <laughs> and again, makes me wonder what the hell the other milos are doing in those paraverses either well, dead or living their best life a long time ago because it's been thousands of years but anyhow yeah you had, you know the answer to this question yeah. <laughs> so i've told you so many times friends. yeah you've had um, this question answered a lot. i know i'm just like hell oh, hey there's an immortal one that pops up because like it would be kind of nice but anyway <laughs> no they all live happily with their tiefling giant wife <laughs> except for this one yeah, this one doesn't get happy any apparently. Um nope. so Matt uh you you notice there's something there's like little lights glowing in the bog. Uh he's Oh gonna, no. <laughs> he's going to look at So I assume what's the what's the raccoon name again? Uh, Hanala. I I assume I just saw Hanala run out like 
Did he look desperate? Did he look scared? No, no. He looks kind of... Uh, roll an insight check. Uh, that is a 26. All right. 26. Hmm. All right. Um... Hmm. You're taking a little bit long. I'm getting worried. He seems kind of proud of himself. Oh, no. That's oh, no. a dangerous reaction. Oh, no. He's going to look and go, What did you just do? I know that look. What did you just do? I I don't know what you are talking about. No. He's going to catch himself. I can see you're proud of yourself for something. If it affects the mission, we need to know about it. Or anything else like that, so... Roll persuasion. Why? That is another 23. He goes, I just saved Callie is all. And he's telling the truth? Roll in sight. That is a... A 26. Seems to be telling the truth. Wait, he went to save... Ca Wait, he went to save Callie? I just sent her back to wherever you guys came from. What? She's safe now. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> He's going. Don't okay. Worry. He is going. Okay. <laughs> First off, this is what he sees. He just sees his face drop. <laughs> and he is going to literally <laughs> grab onto this Faye. And like, you know, those Don't moments where like. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. <laughs> Don't be rude. Hold on, wisdom rude. saving throw to see if he <laughs> makes <be> it. <laughs> okay, you know, he, he's about to and goes, <laughs> You? Okay. Um, <laughs> good, good save there, last second. I was of a Marcus-shaped tree in this uh, <laughs> bog. <laughs> he's going to just... <laughs> Don't be rude. Okay. Um, good intention. Very good intention. Have you ever heard of this place called Gashail? I am familiar with it, yes. That is where we came from. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it, 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 do you not know what it's like? I know. And you thought that was safer than here? Uh, yeah. How? Oh. <laughs> and you oh. were safer than the Bay oh. for the Hold on. <laughs> Are you oh. kidding me? He's gonna just. Oh, wait, the Abyss is just... safer than fucking Phalia. <laughs> he, he's just. He's just gonna, like, sort of just, like, hands on his thighs, just sort of. Who? Who? How? How do you. Ooh. Ooh, no. No, poor girl, no. <laughs> no can, 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 can you bring her back? Can, 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 can no. you bring her right here? No. No? <laughs> we just... Congratulations, chaperone! You lost one. <laughs> mm -hmm. One out of eight, eight kids. No, no, no! <laughs> Mother. Uh, 
teenagers. <laughs> teenagers. Markham, Markham broke Marcus. <laughs> yeah. Markham broke Marcus. I mean, you have friends there, right? They're teen sure. teenagers. They're teenagers. They're Callie is in the motherfucking asylum. But you have friends there, right? We don't really. The one friend that we had turned out to be a gnome child. That was some sort of fucking devil. And now we're here just in the Feywild having a... Oh, fuck. What the fuck did I do to deserve this? What the fuck did Callie do to deserve this? <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, my. Oh. What the hell? Well, it's safer than there, there than here right now. Do you know who was hunting him? If he comes back, if he comes back, oh god, if he gets out of the pale, oh no. What if he, she goes back to the cast? No, 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 no. Someone needs to slap Marcus or else he is not going to get out of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Kevin will fly up and be like, psh, psh, psh. <sighs> Nap out of it, man. You Pull really need to. Together. You, 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 you have stepped in the bog. Oh, all right. Well. <laughs> Step back carefully and don't you. look down. You want to become one. Okay, don't look down. Not looking down. Everyone, listen to the. Make your wisdom saving uh, throw. Everyone, look at the nice little mother. Yes, I don't. That is a motherfucking nat 20, 29. Okay, you resist yeah. the suddenly extremely strong urge to look down. Wait, what? You I resist, resist the. There's a ex, there's an extremely strong urge to look down, and you you push past it. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, everyone. This this fog is trying to make you look down. Don't look down. Don't look up. Look up. Look up at the sky. Just, just, just follow trees. me, and we are getting out of here right now. Understand? We're gonna follow the nice little nice raccoon. Okay, follow the nice raccoon. And I am a. No, forget it. And he Sorry, flies Faye. off. <laughs> Follow the Fae. Follow the Fae. I can't believe I'm saying this. Follow the Fae. Help! Oh, boy. Um. Okay, you, you follow through, and uh, you have now made it to the base of this castle that you saw in the distance. Nice Elden oh. Ring-style journey to get here. Awesome. Um, okay, first off, how many did we lose? How many did none. we motherfucking lose? Oh, well, just Cali. Just oh. Cali. <laughs> just oh. Cali. Just Cali. That will be remedied, hopefully. We'll see. Anyway, he'll just look and see that everyone's going to go, oh, all right. Good job. Good job, guys. All right. He's going to turn back. <sighs> what do we do now? But now we go up and seek an audience with, with, with uh, you know, just come with me. I, I, will, Wait, I, I thought... will grant us an audience, and then you need to have your... Uh, I, I take it these are the ones you are having fetched the orbs? Uh, yes. Okay, they must sneak Wait, off. Wait, orbs or gems? They, they are gems. Okay, gems. They are uh, gems that are orbs. orbs. The what? I'm uh, sorry, just to be sure. They are gems that are shaped like orbs? Like, are they circular, or are they, like, a gem? Like, no, they're, 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 they're a gem, but they are the size of an orb. Okay, he's gonna turn to everyone and go, did you hear that? They're like, uh-huh. Okay, am, am I gonna have to be a part of this, or uh, you can audience? help them, or you can help me uh, distract the ruler? Uh, let me look and see what, because Marcus ain't good at deception, but he ain't good at stealth either. Uh, let's serve two evils here. Crap. Okay, let me see. His his charisma is a ten. It's a 10 versus a 14 for stealth. That a disadvantage because he has medium arm. Okay, shit, no. Okay, no. He's going to, like, look, consider, look at his arm and go. You get disadvantage for wearing medium armor? I thought that was just heavy. No, with because some medium he's wearing armor, heavy me metal armor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with some goose medium, you don't get disadvantage, but some of you do. Well, it's because yours is a bunch of metal that's just ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching, that is also too. You know, he's gonna look down and go. All right, I guess I go with you to the. Uh, I guess I go with you to the audience. He's gonna turn to the other. No. All right, remember, 
the set the two jams, the size of orbs, and one little thing. One little thing. All right. I I I can go with them and and help get the uh, get get the gems. The the little raccoon guy says, and he's like, I I can help. And Hanala uh, volunteers to go with the kids. I, I know the way. You go, you take, you, you go straight, and then you take a right, and then you go downstairs, and you take a left, and you take a right, and then you take another left, and then you take a left, and then a left, and then you go downstairs, and you take a left and then a right, and then another left, and you're there. Mark is just raising his hand at this point. Can I have a guide? Is there anyone I can help? Map quest. Or, so wait. They're going to... Wait. So I have no one with me. It's just me. No, no, you're going with uh, Kevin. Okay, okay, I'm going with Kevin. Okay, good. Okay, I was confused by that. Let's go. He's just gonna look at Kevin. You know the way, right? Well, yes, of course. I don't come here. Whenever I, I, I avoid coming here whenever I can. But yes, yes. That's fair enough. I'll follow you. Very good, very good. Um, uh, as as he he kind of like leads the way. You flutter up. Um, the guards kind of. Uh, do you speak Sylvan? think so but let me double check nope celestial okay. common dwarvish and elvish okay you have no idea what they're saying he's gonna lean in what are they saying i i probably shouldn't tell you if he's not speaking in a way you can hear it then it's probably because you're not supposed to hear that's fair enough uh after a moment of conversing he kind of kevin kind of pivots around and he's grinning Kind of sheepishly he goes, well, they are letting us in. Let's go. Uh, you guys proceed inwards. And once you guys are around a couple, uh, around the corner, um, Kevin kind of gestures to, to Ihanala, who goes like, and, uh, and then leads the, uh, the kids off, uh, down, uh, hallway to the right. And you and Kevin proceed forward. As okay. you give me a perception check. That is a twenty-eight. All right. As you proceed forward, you go down a number of beautiful halls with intricately carved gold pillars, um, beautiful okay, furniture that is ornately carved um, or sculpted from various valuable metals expensive wood etc um eventually you you pass several like smaller rooms uh one large ballroom and you eventually come into a large throne room area with beautiful golden columns and oh as you as you enter make a religion check for me religion yay something i am proficient in uh, Mark. what you a giggle pump. Am I if if I am in your brain as much as I have been in your brain, I am concerned. That okay. is, I if it's who I think. Okay. <laughs> That's an unnatural twenty. A natural twenty. Okay. Um as you enter your knowledge of Fey lore <laughs> and religion just starts pinging. And uh you enter its beautiful golden columns, a golden marble, well uh gold trimmed marble columns up and down, uh and uh the occasional uh golden sculpture. Uh which immediately thinks of uh, makes you think of King Midas, one of the, the great archfey of this this realm but this is not his territory um as you as you approach there's a large throne with a massive um you would think he was kind of like a pixie but he looks more insectoid no, um no no he's got four wings and kind of a uh uh more insectoid limbs than than humanoid um as he's reclining uh <laughs> <clears throat> sitting oh. sitting back on his massive throne he stands maybe 15 feet tall this guy oh, yeah. is a 
big boy. He wears he wears an ornate gold crown with a number of <laughs> valuable gems in, uh, inlaid in it. And I hate his, this motherfucker so much. His feet are kicked up and resting on a uh, golden footstool, which, upon closer inspection, appears to be a kneeling satyr. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> I think I killed Sulky. Um, and your brain where? goes nuts where as you recognize the head of a fucking fey this god. as the Archfey Oviran the Terrible. And that is where we'll be ending tonight's session. No! <laughs> no! Fuck! No! No! <laughs> no! Man, now I'm bummed that I'm not going to be here next week to see what happens. Because, no! man, these reactions are something else. <laughs> there is, um... There is definitely oh, some I, more here. I... Oh, I am so glad I cut off this fucking bastard's head. I am so fucking glad. But you must remember that Fey time is different, and he can exist in the past, present, future, <laughs> however he needed to, needs to, or needed to. Uh -huh. Well, I am glad his head rotted on the continent. I'm glad it rotted and turned into mulch. The motherfucker can go to hell. I hate this, like, okay, those are the stream. I no. hate this villain. I hate no. this villain more than any other villain. <laughs> Markham has put forward. Uh, I, hate, I hate him more than Vladimir. I hate him more than freaking Medusa he had a king for. I hate him so much. The way that I dove toward my bed and missed and hit the floor. Yeah, oh, are no. you okay? <laughs> you just like, boom, and there's like a boom. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let's just do outros. Yeah, I need to recover outros. from this shit. <laughs> outros, let's start with Matt. <laughs> yeah, this is Matt. Playing Marcus, fucking pissed. <laughs> Wanting to have Milo come in and cut this guy's head off already. But yes. Ah. Uh. Um. <sighs> uh, Abigail. There's nothing for Abigail. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yep. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Ian, would you like to go? Yeah. Um. I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington, a lovely known child who 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 is like worried that that Callie is being carried off somewhere by some giant lady and hopefully Alberian can help fingers crossed fingers crossed mm -hmm. and lastly are you okay Selkie <laughs> <laughs> I will be my knee will recover um I'm Selkie to the internet I'm Callie in the lost continent and you can all catch us tomorrow. Not all of us, but, you know, you can catch me and Naz and our DM. We're going to be players tomorrow in our Legend of Greylist game. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stick around and figure all this other pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Selkie.exe mm -hmm. has stopped working. Um, mm -hmm. For those of you who, who aren't in the know, mm -hmm. I, I ran a campaign in the past where um, Selkie's character was turned to gold for a while by this archfey 250,000 years essentially yes he existed in the past 000. present and the future to strengthen exclusively himself exclusively to torture her uh no it was more of to strengthen himself he wanted to conquer worlds uh, well, and they eventually defeated him not without much loss um <laughs> highest body count of pcs and and their npc allies i think i've ever had in a campaign so yeah this is this is reliving trauma for them i am sorry guys yeah um, i think the, it's a horror the campaign PC. what the the it's a horror campaign yeah yeah I mean, they should yeah. expect it right the, the yeah like clearly the you know the the physical horror of these creepy things wasn't enough so i'm resulting to psychological horror yeah to be fair though <laughs> bog bog shit is creepy bog shit was creepy i'm not gonna lie Listen, the bog shit. The the level of psychological horror that he put that little footstool through. So much, and <laughs> the angry half elf that is eventually going to decapitate him. Like, like, for, okay. for for context, she gets restored, but because of her trauma of being 
she she's claustrophobic first of all so being petrified is the worst yes. second of all she's gold so she's conscious in there so she's just aware that she is claustrophobic the entire time and the trauma of this makes her revert to a child's mentality oh, for a while she's eventually healed yeah. she's eventually healed and she's fine and, yeah and my just needs years of therapy nothing years of therapy yeah. can't cure yeah and freaking miles had a freaking a day berserk moment. a single day a single day a single day yeah. Then he got stabbed. Then he got kebabs. Now, to be fair, Milo has been yeah. stabbed multiple times and has lived, but this time, no. This time was I no, no. <laughs> Mini pixie dream bug. Yes. Yes. Although I am I am kind of proud it took a... Oh, sweet. Good to know. Born Stiller says he could officially join in a bit earlier. So, yeah, we can definitely do that. Oh, we yeah. Can definitely, gonna I'm going gonna, gonna to see if we can We're start earlier. Start earlier. Awesome. Yeah. I, although I am glad it took that to kill Milo. I'm not going to lie. Fair enough. All right. Well, I am your dungeon lord and master of the shenanigan sovereigns, uh, Mr. Markham, pretty much everywhere. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, Ian, we're desperately going to miss you next week. We um, are. I hope you have fun. And uh, we will be sure to not um, do too much chaos in your absence. Oh, no, do no, all no. the chaos. Do all uh, the chaos. We will oh, do you know, chaos they're, they're, in your name. They, I mean, they're yeah. in the Feywild, so you go let the let chaos reign, right? Yeah, we'll do say, chaos in your name. We'll do chaos say, in your honor. Yeah, that is true. I was gonna say you're not gonna see our reaction so overall, but I'm like, wait a minute, you can just watch the stream. So yeah, you will. Yeah, I probably. could. Like I, I, but I also know myself in past things where I was like, oh, watch it. I never did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, yeah. That's, I get that. Hundred percent. Yep. There's part of it where I'm like, if I'm not there and it doesn't involve my character, I don't necessarily need to know. Yeah, you know, the one I'm I, not, the, yeah. The one I wa don't watch involves my character, and I'm like, which one is it? I don't know which one it is. But like, am I even allowed to go back and watch it? Don't worry yes. about it. Yeah, don't worry don't about, worry about it. it. It'll come up eventually. Your character wasn't even conscious, so. Yeah. I'm so worried. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all for joining us tonight. Catch us tomorrow for Legends of Kralis. And I think they have a campaign on Saturdays now. Uh, Monday is Iowan Adventures and Tuesday is State of the Union. Be sure to catch all their amazing games on this channel. Um, you guys stay safe and stay lost. Take care, everybody.